All right, we're going to take a look at the muscles and nerves of the upper limb, and we're fortunate enough to be working with our preserved and plastinated cadaver specimens. And I always like to take a moment just to remember these individuals, particularly individuals who donated their bodies, and really all the individuals over the years who've done that, so that we can come to have this incredibly detailed understanding of our own anatomy and physiology. And if you'd like to know more about donating a body um, and the process of plastination, please check in the link. Below. The, uh, just to get oriented, I want to show that on the cadaver, what we have here is the clavicle. On, you can see the clavicle on the skeleton, and there it is coming across on the cadaver. And then, of course, you can see the shoulder joint, which is wrapped up in here. And you can see what's really nice to see is where all the nerves are, would be coming off of what you can see on the skeleton would be the intervertebral foramina in the neck region. So remember, it's the cervical nerves that contribute to this whole brachial plexus that supplies the motor neurons and also the sensory neurons to the upper limb. And you can see some of these neurons break off and go to the shoulder muscles. But what we want to see is these the, the spinal nerves that continue under the clavicle and emerge as the brachial plexus continuing on down the upper limb. And you can even see that nice classic um, M of the brachial plexus here, boom, 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 with the three main nerves going down the anterior compartment or the anterior part of the upper limb. So let's check how that continues on the arm. So just appreciate whether this arm is being held up like this. Now we come around into this position and we're gonna see some of those details. And so again, here's where the clavicle would be coming across the anterior part of the um, so superior anterior part of the chest cavity and coming behind it are all of the nerves of the brachial plexus. They have cut them off from where they came off of the spinal nerves and they can emerge from under the clavicle and that's where again we see that classic M of the brachial plexus. See the, now I'm going to draw the M, boom, 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 boom. And so we have the two main cords that contribute to the M that are gonna be the medial cord and the posterior, I'm sorry, the, the lateral cord. Medial, because it's on the medial side. Remember, the, this is the medial side of the body and posterior, the lateral cord, because it's on the lateral side. And then you can see coming kind of off the lateral cord, going directly into these muscles here on the anterior part of the limb, but proximal is the musculocutaneous nerve. It's going to the biceps muscle, and it's also going to go to the brachialis muscle. And so that's the, um, that's the musculocutaneous nerve. Then you see the two parts, the two cords coming together, going right down the middle as the median nerve. Median, because it's going down the median part of the limb. And it enters into this whole group of muscles down here, which are what we call the wrist and digital flexors. I'll show you the more detail of that in a moment. And then you can see the median, the, The medial, sorry about that, the medial part of the, um, coming off the medial cord, wrapping around the medial epicondyle of the humerus, right there. If we go back to the skeleton, I just want to show that to you. There's the medial epicondyle of the humerus, and that's where that medial nerve, it's called the ulnar nerve, wraps around and continues, follows the ulna. That's why we call it the ulnar nerve, back to the arm. It follows the ulnar nerve all the way down into the hand and the muscular part of that nerve goes to these what are called interosseous muscles in the palm of the hand that help to abduct and adduct the fingers. It also has superficial branches going out to most of the um, skin uh, of the lateral digits in the hand. Okay. So just to recap, going back to that M of the brachial plexus, you've got the muscular cutaneous nerve staying proximal going to the the muscles in the proximal part of the arm, the anterior part of the arm, the biceps, the median nerve coming all the way down and going to the wrist and digital flexors, and the ulnar nerve continuing yet more distally, wrapping around that medial epicondyle and all the way down into the palm of the hand. Now, let's just take a slightly closer look at that median nerve where it goes into all of this group of muscles that I just call the digital and wrist flexors. To be honest, there's about a dozen muscles in there in, to in total. And what those muscles do, and this is really, you know, remarkable, 
they have tendons that go all the way out to the distal and um, median or middle phalanxes of the digits. And so they can bend every single um, joint in the digits, basically, the, the, the distal joints, the what we call pips and dips, the, um, posterior, the, the proximal interphalangeal joints and the distal interphalangeal joints. And um, so they go all the way out to do the digits. They also have, there's muscles that just come to the wrist region, the carpal flexors, as we call them, that flex at the wrist. Um, and we're just gonna know the whole group as the wrist and digital flexors. Notice that this, so that's that median nerve diving into this entire group of muscles that flexes the wrist and flexes all the digits. If you follow it down, this is really nice to see, notice that that median nerve back here does continue on out to do some cutaneous skin parts of the, of the hand out here. And it has that one branch, let me just, if you follow it here, that recurrent branch, see how it's going out to the hand, to the palm of the hand, but that recurrent branch goes into the base, the, the muscles at the base of the thumb, those intrinsic thumb muscles, and we sometimes call that that million dollar nerve because that's anybody would, if that nerve gets cut, you lose movement of your thumb. So important for grasping things, and uh, you know anybody would pay a million dollars to have that nerve fixed. So that's that median nerve going to all of those wrist and digital flexors. So just to recap, We've got the brachial plexus emerging from under the clavicle with its, on the anterior compartment, its medial and lateral cords. And you can see those medial and lateral cords in the classic M of the brachial plexus forming those three nerves, the musculocutaneous nerve staying proximal to the biceps and the flexors of the elbow, the median nerve going to the wrist and digital, digital flexors, and the ulnar nerve going all the way out to the hand. That's the anterior muscles of the anterior compartment of the upper limb.